And Jesus went to the other side, to the Gentile territory of the Gerasenes. And as he got out of the boat, immediately he was met from the graves by a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the graves. And no one was strong enough to subdue him any longer, not even with chains, because he'd been bound often with fetters and with chains. The fetters were (coughs) broken by him and the chains (coughs) torn apart. And no one was strong enough to subdue him. (coughs) And every night and day among the graves, And in the hillside, he would scream and slash himself with stones. Seeing Jesus from a distance, he ran to him, bowed down, and said, What have you against me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I am putting you on oath by God. Don't torment me. Because Jesus had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, get out of the man. Jesus said to him, What's your name? And he said, Legion is my name. Legion is my name. Legion is my name. We are many. And he began pleading with Jesus not to drive him out of the countryside. Now, a large herd of pigs was feeding on the hillside. And he pleaded with Jesus to allow him to enter into the pigs. And and Jesus allowed it. And, And coming out of the man, The unclean spirits entered into the pigs and the whole herd, about 2,000, charged down the hill into the sea and were drowned in the sea. What's the symbology there? And I'm sure the word you were looking for was symbolism. What is the symbolism there? Now when those who had been feeding the pigs saw what had happened, they panicked. They fled and reported it in the cities and in the fields. And people came to see what had happened. And they come to Jesus and they see the demoniac, the one who'd been possessed by a demon, sitting clothed and in his right mind. And they panicked. And they pleaded with Jesus to leave their territory. 